So here we are going to talk about polymers. First of all, we need to keep in mind what are polymers. Polymers are very large molecules. They are macromolecules. So polymers are very large molecules. Very large molecules, or we also call them or macro molecules. So when you know we are talking about this polymers, how are they formed? Okay, they are formed from many small molecules called monomers. Mono means one, poly means multiple, right? So they are very large molecules or macro molecules made from many small okay. molecules all what called monomer, monomers, right? Now we will talk about what is polymerization. So polymerization, when we are talking about it, of course it is the process in which these polymers will be formed from these monomers. I'm just gonna make it uh, smaller, right? Now it is more appropriate proportion. Now, polymerization, the process of joining these hundreds or thousands of monomers together. The process of, we will be writing everything so we understand it clearly. The process of joining, joining what? The process of joining hundreds or thousands of monomers joining hundreds or thousands of monomers. Mono means one, so they are small ones, right? To gather, to form, to gather, to form polymers is called polymers is called polymerization. Now the thing is that we will talk about how many types of polymerization are there. There are basically two main types that we are going to talk about. Two main types. Addition. Are they? Yeah, addition, correct. Addition polymerization and condensation polymerization. Addition. Polymerization and what we will have, we will have condensation, polymerization. polymerization. Addition, polymerization and condensation, polymerization. When you know we are talking about the difference in these two, what you know we will be talking about in addition polymerization, there is going to be only one monomer. So only one monomer reacts and the product is only one, which is a polymer. Other than that, when we are talking about example of monomer, it will always be alkene because it will have double bonds in it. Addition polymerization when we are talking about. This is just an overview. Of course, we are going to understand it with the help of examples as we go further. Now, you know, we will talk about condensation polymerization. So when you know we are talking about condensation polymerization, we need to understand that, you know, there will be two different monomers, right? So it is going to be two or more, okay? Different monomers react, right? So it means two reactants you have, then you know the products also you will have two. There are two products 
of this reaction, what are they? One is the polymer, and the other one is what? The other one is a small molecule, which is usually water. That is usually water, water H2O, or even HCl. Also keeping in mind, this is also we need to mention that is eliminated. This is how, you know, our uh, definition of condensation polymerization completes. And, you know, in the exam, they are going to ask us the difference between addition and condensation polymerization. So this is how we are going to explain the basics. Now, you know, next we are going to discuss the examples of it.